Hello, my friends. I have Jasmine here with me today. Say hi, Jasmine. Hi. <laughs> so Jasmine is going to be helping me out. Today we are going to get moving, and we're going to start with reaching down and reaching up. Do that with me. We're going to go for five. Just starting to warm up those arms. Four. Good. You could do this seated or standing. Three. Last. Two, good, one more, excellent. From here, you're just gonna reach across your body and then switch, nice and gentle. You can see I'm pivoting on my back foot a little bit here, just rotating through the torso slightly. If you feel dizzy at all, look straight ahead. Don't be flipping your head back and forth. Good, let's try four more, four, Three, two, and one. Excellent. We're going to stand holding on to something if needed. So you could hold on to the wall or a counter or a chair. And we're going to try and lift the leg up and over the sleeping dog and then return trip. Okay, let's do that five times. That's one. Up and over. That's two. Good. Up and over. Three. Good. Four, one more, up and over, that's five. Good, we're gonna switch to the other side, shake it out a little bit here, and reposition yourself. If you need that balance support, please take it. We don't want any falls. All right, we're going up and over the sleeping dog, and then return trip, that's one, up five. Good, two, well done, this is three. Slow and steady, four, one more, and five. Amazing. All right, from either sitting or standing, we're going to do some big shoulder rolls. We're going to start by going forward. So you can go back, up, and forwards. You get to be done when I'm done. <laughs> All right, so you can start to kind of get your arms into a little bit too. If you've ever done a lot of swimming, this is kind of the start of like a butterfly stroke. Don't judge me on my, my ability to do a butterfly stroke. I was never good at it. This is probably why. Good, and pause, shake it out. Now we're gonna go backwards, big shoulder rolls backwards. So going up and back and down. If that feels okay, you can start to get your elbows moving, make it, them into a little bit bigger circles. Good. Excellent. All right, this next one, Jasmine's going to stay standing. I'm going to demonstrate it from a seated position. So you can pick what's best for you. We're going to do some angel wings. All right, so we're going to reach out to the side, big arm circles, and then we're going to kind of pull down and back, all the way down. And then we're going to do that again. We're reaching way up high, big circle, and then pull down like we're making some angel wings and back. Let's do three more just like that. Good, breathing, try not to hold your breath. Good, this is a great way to keep your posture in check. And we've got one more here. All the way up, big pull down and down. Excellent. All right, for this next one, you're gonna need your bands. Now you can start with your lightest band or a medium tension band. All right, if you've got the same ones as me, uh, I'm gonna start with my green one. You're gonna put this on around your ankles. Okay, so if you need to hit pause, go ahead and do that to take a little extra time. You're gonna be in a seated position. All right, we're sitting up nice and tall here. All right, feel free to kind of hold on to the edge of your seat a little bit. And from here, we're gonna try and kick one leg out, return, and then the other. So our target here are the tops of these thighs, our quadricep muscles. You can see my foot is flexed. Jasmine's giving a great side view. Well done, Jasmine. <laughs> Good. Breathing. They're starting to strengthen through the tops of those legs. This also engages the core because we have to sit tall while we do this. 
Good. Let's try for about six more here. Here we go. Six. Now, if this feels too easy, next time you're going to do it with a little heavier band. And if it feels hard enough, then you're doing it right. Good. Two more. Last one. Good. You're going to keep that band on, but you're going to grab it and work it up to above your knees. All right. <clears throat> Now, this next one is not very ladylike, <laughs> okay? So do this in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> but it is really important for our hips and our knees, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put our feet fairly close together, and we're going to drive our knees apart and together, okay? I want you to focus on sitting tall. Again, I'm using kind of a medium resistance. You could start with light, okay? If you need that kind of side view, this is what we're going for. Jasmine's already doing it. Knees apart and together. Good. All right, let's try for five more here. Five. We're strengthening through that outer thigh and hip. Four. This is a version of what we call a clam. Last two. And last one. Excellent. I'm going to purposely make you practice taking the band on and off because that's part of the work. The ability to put on socks and shoes and our own underwear in the morning. <laughs> All right, next up, you're probably going to want to start with the pretty light band for this one. All right, we're going to do what's called a three-way shoulder. I'm going to stay seated, Jasmine. I'm going to have you stand up so you can face the front of the camera. All right, roll your shoulders down and back, and you're going to grab hold on the sides of that band. From there, you're going to anchor one at your chest, and we're going to punch downward. We're going to go side, and we're going to go up. All right? I'm going to do the same side as Jasmine. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go down, side, and up. Good. Keep going. Down, side. And up. That's three. We're doing five rounds here. Down, sit tall, or stand tall, and up. One more. Down, side, and up. Good. Shake your sillies out. That really works through the shoulder, the back of the arms, the triceps, or sometimes affectionately called the bat wings. All right? Reset your posture. Sit nice and tall or stand. If you're standing, I want you to make sure your knees are unlocked, okay? All right, we're going to go to the other arm now, anchoring at your chest. We're pressing downward. We're going side and up. That's one of five. Keep going. Down, side, and up. Excellent. Keep moving. This is three. Good. This is four. I'm usually a pretty terrible counter, Jasmine. <laughs> this is five. I'm counting on my fingers right now. <laughs> Last one. Push. Excellent. Good. All right. Putting that band just slightly off to the side, out of the way. Yours are good there, Jasmine. We're going to do a set of step backs. Now, you might need to hold on to the back of a chair or onto the countertop. That will be helpful. All right, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to tap back, pressing the back heel flat, and then come up and switch. My front knee is bent. My back leg is straight. All right, that's what we're going for here. All right, so Jasmine's going to do it facing front on. I'm going to give you the side view. Make sure I don't step on anything here. Make sure you check your space. All right, ready? Let's go. So step back. Pressing the heel. Again, hold on to something here if needed for balance. Good. Breathing. We're targeting here a great calf stretch for one. We end up stretching through our front hip flexors a little bit, possibly your quad. We're working balance and the ability to be on one foot. Good. All right, we're going to go for six more here. Last six. Try to look straight ahead. Five. Four. 
three. Good, last two. Last one. Excellent, beautiful. Next up, calf raises. Again, hold on to something for balance. Feet are gonna start about hip width apart. We're gonna do three different ways, okay? We're gonna start by lifting straight up and down. Our feet are parallel, running like train tracks, okay? Good. Trying to lift and lower. Bringing some strength to our ankles, our feet, and our calves. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, next one. This one's going to feel a little bit odd. You're going to turn your toes inward slightly. This targets the inner aspect of our legs a little differently. Okay, so it's going to lift and lower. That will feel different. Good. Here we go. For 10, my ankle just popped. Nine, <laughs> eight, Good, seven, this will challenge your balance. So again, hold on if needed. Last four, three, two, one more. Good, you might have started to feel that kind of through different parts of the leg. Last one, we're gonna turn our toes out. What are we calling this, like a duck walk? <laughs> duck toes, penguin toes. All right, and we're gonna lift. And lower. This is where I always feel like I should have ballerina arms going, right? If you want to add those in, go for it. <laughs> Unless you're going to fall over, then hold on. <laughs> All right. Good. Let's try five more. Five, four, three, last two, and one. Excellent. Shake it off. All right. We're going to go back to the start of our little circuit, starting with our shoulder rolls. We're going to go forwards to start. We're going to go for five, four, good, three, last two, and one more. Excellent. Shake it out. We're going to go backwards. Ready? We're going to lift, go backwards for five, four, that's it. Building some strength here by doing this. Three, last two. And last one, excellent. Jasmine's gonna stay standing. I'm gonna show this next one from seated, our angel wings. Okay, so we're doing a nice big circular arms come up as high as we can get them and then pull those elbows down and back towards our sides until we drop our arms to the bottom. Let's go for five more. Five, little breath out here. Four, good. Three. This always reminds me of the like old movie uh, Angels in the Outfield. Have you ever seen that movie, Jasmine? No, oh, you are too young. <laughs> You're gonna have to watch that one. Last one. Good, excellent. Next up is that leg extension. So we're gonna come to seated with your band. Now, last time, depending on what band you used, I used about a green medium band. You can choose to go lighter, you can choose to go heavier, but you're going to do that practice of trying to get that band on around the ankles. Again, this, this is that turning of the hips and the knees and the lifting, okay? So if you're struggling with it, just keep me close and hit pause till you get it on, all right? Feel free to use something to help kind of hook it on if needed. All right, sitting up nice and tall. This time, a little different. Instead of alternating, we're going to do all one leg, okay? We're going to do 10 on one side. Ready? Here we go. For 10. Same leg. Nine. So we're going to kind of tire this leg out. Eight. And my foot is flexed, so I'm drawing my big toe towards my shin. What are we at? Six? <laughs> Five. Good. Four. Last three. Breathing, two, you should start to feel a little bit of heat in that leg, and last one. Good, shake those sillies out. All right, other leg sitting up tall, here we go. For 10, nine, eight, good, seven, six, 
five. Good, keeping that foot flexed. Four, three, last two, last one. Excellent, okay, shimmy that band up to just above the knees. We're gonna do those butterfly clams. Again, not ladylike at all, okay, but face a wall if you need to, okay? You're gonna open those and close those knees, trying to keep your feet together, okay? All right, let's go for eight more from here. Here we go, eight. Again, really important for strengthening that outer hip. Let's call this six. <laughs> Five, four, three. Good working against that band. Last two. One more. Excellent. All right, practice sliding that band off. You can put that off to the side unless you still need this one because we're going to do those three way shoulders. So last time I did the lightest band. This time I'm going to go up one. All right, so you do you. Okay. You're gonna grab that band on the outside, so you're gonna fist it, okay? We're gonna start by anchoring it at your chest, and you're gonna send your, your right or left hand down first, okay? <laughs> so sitting up or standing tall, we're gonna push down, side, and upward. Now that, that can change the angle, all right? You may not get as high as we are, and that's all right. Breathe. This definitely gets harder with a harder band. Do you feel a different tension? Yeah. It's a little bit more there. Last two. Excellent, one more. Breathing. Excellent, good. Shake those arms out, give your shoulders a little shrug. All right, re-grip that band. You're gonna go the other direction now, anchoring at our chest. Starting with the push down. Here we go. Push down, side, and up. Good. Five rounds. I'm still counting on my fingers. <laughs> Breathing. I'm not so concerned about where you breathe because once you start working hard enough, your body's going to figure it out. <laughs> Exhale where it feels natural and you're in the right spot. One more. Down. Side and up. I think that was five. I think I counted right. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to those step backs. So popping your bands off to the side. All right, Jasmine's going to face the camera. I'm going to go sideways. Roll those shoulders down and back. Stand at the counter or chair if needed. You're going to step one foot back, pressing the heel flat. Front knee is bent. Come up and switch. Good. Again, we're getting a nice stretch here, as well as working on balance. Our goal here is to get a long stride, all right? I don't want to go like super, super close. I really am trying to send that foot as far back as I can. Watching that this front knee does not go past my front toe. That's why holding onto a counter or the back of a chair is a great choice. Good, let's go for six more. Six. Five, four, last three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, our last movement of the day, calf raises, <laughs> three ways. All right, starting again, hold on if needed, starting with straight parallel feet, roll the shoulders down and back, and you're going to lift. We're going to go for eight this time. Seven. Six, trying to go straight up, not letting things roll wonky, okay? Last four, three, two, and one. Excellent, okay. Let's try toes in, pigeon toes. It's funny, every time I do this, my head goes off the camera. <laughs> you can watch for it this time. Here we go for eight, seven. I'm like trying to break out of the camera here. Five, four, three, two, one more. Whew. Good. Shake your sillies out. Let's try the last one. Penguin feet or duck feet. Ready? Here we go. Pointed toes out for eight. The ballerina arm, seven, six, <laughs> five, 
five, four, three, last two, and one. Excellent. Well done, my friends. Your work is complete for today. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.